hello, hello, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you are doing well wherever you are. This Welcome back, family, to It's a Better Choice. Today I'm out here um, in the garden area and I have a lot to do today. I got to um, get some eggshells on my um, on my watermelon. You know, they're growing and they're flowering and that is the time that you um, get some calcium into your um, watermelon. Especially when they start putting on their flowers, you really got to get um, some calcium on them and that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm also going to be uh, making some watermelon juice, not watermelon juice, but some, cucumber juice <laughs> see guys I'm waiting on the watermelon I'm talking about watermelon already so yes I'm gonna make you guys some um, cucumber juice I'm gonna get the rest of the cucumber um, last week I promised you guys that I'm gonna make some cucumber juice so that's what I'm gonna be doing today so if you're interested in all of those things stick around and I'll see you in a minute please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a like before this video is finished I'll see you in a minute Stay tuned. all right guys let's get this um I gotta get the rest of the cucumber so I can make the so I can make that juice for you all. I love cucumber juice guys. It is such a refreshing juice, especially at this time of the year. Um, you know, it is hot out here. It's very hot, and I think this is like the best time to make some cucumber juice. So let's go get the rest of these cucumber. And this cucumber they really grow fast, fam. So we're gonna do that. Let's get the cucumber and then we'll go back in. Once we finish doing the um, watermelon, then I'll um, go back in and show you how I make that cucumber juice. Look at the cucumbers, guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful cucumber. I still have flowers everywhere. There's another one right there. And as you can see, there's flowers everywhere and there's bees as well that's pollinating the garden. Look at that. That is the cucumber here. And there's some more. I have quite a few guys. Look at that. The cucumber over there. So I'm going to get them in a minute. But let me show you this real quick before I get the cucumbers. Look at the celery that I doubt. I kept saying, oh, my celery is not going to be growing. And look at that, guys. They are growing. They are growing and they're looking good. Look at the bok choy. See the bok choy, guys? These are the bok choy that I planted the other day. Look how fast they grow, growing, guys. And look at the broccoli. It's coming up. I'm going to see how that turn up because as I know, I told you guys that broccoli doesn't do so good in the warm heat. But um, we'll see how it turns out. You know, we just got to watch and see. Um, uh, I have a... Uh, somebody was asking me how to start a garden. I did a video on how you can start your garden, guys. and But I will try to do another video on that. Um... Uh, let me go over here and show you the the um, rest of the bok choy. See the bok choy here, guys? Look at the bok choy. They're coming up really nice. Look at that. See, but because it's been raining, it's just been a beautiful thing for the garden. And everything is coming up nicely. Look at all these, these bok choy. They're coming up really, really beautiful. Look at that. All of them. They're just broccoli. Not broccoli, but bok choy. And the celery are coming up nicely that I planted as well. I planted some more bok choy. As you can see, these are the tiny ones here. Because, you know, family, I love bok choy. In Jamaica, we say pop chow. And I think it's pronounced that way as well, pop chow. But I think maybe, may, mainly Asian people call it bok choy. But we say pop chow. So, here it is. Um, so, I just wanted to give you an update and how the bok choy are coming along and I have some cucumbers that are growing here that I planted recently that's another bok choy and look look at the um purslin guys remember this little tiny purslin that I planted here look how nicely this came up and these you can just break these off guys and you can eat it just like that you can eat these just as they are see hmm it has like a nice little soury taste um which is this is um omega-3 so if you don't want to take pills while you're um a plant-based eater if you don't want to take tablets you can eat you can plant this and you can use it in your salads you can use it in your um smoothies and that will be great for the brain function we need this brain to work good right anyways let me show you the rest of this um these are the cucumbers i planted these recently because you know family you know that i have to be juicing all the time so 
I got some cucumber in the ground. See that? And these are some new ones that are coming up. Oh, look at that. There is a cucumber in here as well. Look at this is a different. This one is a different variety. You see how big this one is? It's much bigger than the other one. I'd like to give you all an update on the garden. Look at the uh, squash. Squash are coming in beautiful, guys. Look at that. There is. This is a butternut squash right here. And there is. I got to harvest my uh, my. Irish potato, as you can see, they're dry down. You can't even see them anymore. So I gotta harvest those. And there is squash continuously throughout the garden. And here's a squash right here. Here's a few over here. You see that? Squash here. Um, guys, I cannot even show you the amount of squash that is growing in this garden. Yes squash throughout this whole place here squash you see these look at that over there again and over there and way over there if you can see through there you see squash just wanted to give you guys a little update on how the garden is growing it is flourishing family i hope that your garden is flourishing as well whatever you plant plant something family it doesn't have to be you know look at the this is the watermelon they're moving along very good look at that they're spreading everywhere growing on the fence so look at this big water um this big squash right here see that that's a nice size squash right there so everything is coming along beautifully family i'm so grateful to the father for all this rain that we've been having look at that as well there is some more um butternut right here and there's another one over here butternut Yep, so it's coming along fam. I just wanted to give you a little bit of update on how the garden is progressing. Everything is moving nicely. The corn, look at that. I had to show you the corn family. It's only a few of them, but look how big. I think this is gonna be a really big, big variety of corn. You see how long they are? They're pretty long. So I'm gonna have to save at least one of these to plant back. See this? Look at that. I'm gonna have to save at least one so I can have some the plant but later I did plant more corn but only a few of them came up so this time I'm gonna have to plant them in a different place all right fam so that's just a little bit of update and how the garden is doing um, I, I hope that yours is doing well and your stuff is you know flourishing as mine is blessings family all right, all right fam, before I start my juice let me show you just a few of my um few of the plants that I'm gonna put the um, eggshell on so what I did guys, I saved at the eggshells. When the children eat and when I used to eat eggs, I would save my eggshells and this will be a really, really good um, substitute for the calcium that you need in your um, watermelon. So um, you can either use eggshells or you can use um, oyster shell. You can get that at one of those big box stores, you know, maybe Home Depot or... No, it's, I'm not promoting anything here guys. I'm just telling you where you can get those things. You can get them at Home Depot or you can get it on Amazon. Lowe's, you know, get some oyster shell and just put it into the, um, you're going to dig a hole and I'm going to show you right, right now. Fam, I have quite a watermelon. I have a few watermelon that I have to do, but I'm just going to show you how I do this one here. Um, so you just, you don't want to disturb your root too much, but just, you know, just dig around the hole a little bit and um, make sure you don't, you know, root up your your uh, roots as you can see there's plenty of roots but the this calcium will get to the get to your watermelon like that just dig a little hole and just drop your your eggshells and then cover it back so when you water this the calcium will leach into the ground and it will give your plants what they need as you can see over here you see that there are some flowers and this is when you need to give your um, watermelon the um, you know the calcium that they need to sustain themselves and you also have to give them some potassium Because if you don't what you'll have is you'll have Watermelon that is rot You won't be able to do anything with them because you will have bottom rot That's what that's what happens when you don't give your watermelon what they need They just start to rot when they grow. They'll just rot so go ahead and give your All right Give them what they need so they can survive and thrive while you're waiting for your watermelon. Then I'm going to add some more soil in here. So see how healthy this watermelon is looking. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of them. 
So, all right, family. Family, you know, I know a few, a few of you guys maybe want to start a garden. Just look for a nice little spot in your yard, your backyard, or on your patio where um, you have, you know, full sun. You want to have your garden in full sun. If you don't, then your um, crops won't produce as much as they should. So you make sure that you have a nice sunny spot in your garden, in the area that you're going to plant your garden, and. Another thing you want to do fam, if you, once you get a spot where you want to plant your garden, make sure that you have really good soil. I do have a video on that. If you want to check that out in my playlist, check out how you can grow your garden, how to start a garden, and make sure you have really good soil to plant your crop, as nothing is going to grow. As you can see guys, I'm sweating out here because it's nice and hot. If you don't have heat, your veggies and your crops will not grow. So make sure you're doing that, all right? And then... Just take your time, you know, start with things that is, that is going to be, um, you know, very easy to grow. Like cucumber is, all you have to do is just stick your seeds in the ground, make sure you water them, and they will grow. C cucumber and watermelon is pretty simple to grow. Squash, zucchini, um, those things are really easy to grow. Corn, start with those simple things and, you know, work your way up. It's not going to always be simple, guys, but those are very simple um, to grow, so... Start with those type of plants and maybe, you know, as time goes on, you can, um, you know, extend what you're doing and, you know, grow more things and do a little bit of studying family. Um, and I always said, I recommend you guys to Homestead Heart Channel. If you're trying to grow a garden and get it done perfectly fine, listen, go over there to Homestead Heart Channel. She have great tips on how to do a garden. All right. So check her out. Okay. All right, family, I'm gonna go inside and get this juice together. It's hot out here and I want to get some juice. I haven't had my juice yet for the day. So let's go inside and make this juice. All Thanks right, family, me. I have my, oh, Lord, guys, I'm tired. I have my cucumber here. I'm gonna just wash them off a little bit. All right, so let me just wash these off, family, and then we're gonna go and make our juice. All right, fam, all you're gonna need is a piece of ginger and to lime or lemon okay and here is the bowl of cucumbers these are nicely fresh cucumber from the garden and let's get our juice on <laughs> strain just to make sure it's not too much pulp in it and it's nice and light so that's what I'm doing with my bag you know my bag family y'all know I use this bag to strain everything all right family this is the finished cucumber juice it is nice it's refreshing you guys are gonna enjoy that now I have some in this container right here and what I'm gonna do is add a cup of sugar in this one this is for the children and Obviously guys, they're not going to drink the, the one that has no sugar in it. So this will be for your kids if they don't want to have their regular juice without the sugar. Just add a bit of sugar in it and they'll drink it. Alright, so that is our juice for the children and this is what we will have. So I'm adding a little piece of lemon and a sprig of mint. So that is your cucumber juice. Enjoy family. All right, my beautiful YouTube family. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you stick around until the end of the video, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll catch you in the next one. God bless. Bye-bye.